All right, one more. So we have two things that don't have an equal base and it's gonna be impossible to get an equal base. So let's just use logs to get the X's by themselves. So we're gonna take the log of both sides and as long as we do it to both sides, it's totally legal to do this, right? Okay, and then what do we know about exponent rules for logs? Well, we can bring those exponents out front. So now I have X plus one and remember that's gonna be in parentheses because I have that X plus one is times log three, like the X is times log three and the one is t times log three. Um, okay, so and then I bring the X down. All right, so this is the key. This is what's gonna screw most of you guys up is you're gonna bring the X plus one down and you're just gonna multiply that log three times one. But remember this exponent multiplies by the whole thing, okay? So log three is times x and log three is times one. So let's go ahead and expand that. So we have x log three plus one log three equals x log five. Okay, now I'm just gonna get rid of that one because it's really messy. It looks like LL. Um, that's why our foreign exchange students write their ones differently because they say they always look like L's. Anyway, so um, I wanna get my x's by myself, by itself, I don't know. I don't know. So we want to get everything with an X by itself. So you see um, these two, this has an X, this has an X, this doesn't. So let's get this over here and this over here, just like with any other um, expression when we have, where we're trying to get a variable by itself, we get everything that has that variable over onto one side and then everything else on the other. So we're going to subtract X log five from both sides and then we're going to subtract log three for, by both sides. So we're going to have minus, uh, negative log three on that side. Okay, so now I have everything with an X on one side and everything without an X on the other side. Now I'm gonna notice that I have an X in each of these so I can undo the distributive property, right? So um, if you can imagine what happened is I had an X on the outside and I put it in and we're gonna undo that so we're gonna go back out. So we're gonna take the X outside of the parentheses and what are we gonna have left in here? We're gonna have, whoop, we're gonna have log three minus log five that equals negative log three. Okay, so I, if, again, if you can imagine, if I multiply this x in, I get x log three minus x log five. So that's this works, I just pulled the x outside. Now I wanna get that x all by itself. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna divide both sides by log three minus log five. Okay, it's kinda of messy. But, all right, so we end up with x equals negative log three divided by log three minus log five. Okay, and again, since I used log, I can just go ahead and plug this into my calculator. I could have also used ln, because as long as I take the ln of one side, I can take the ln of the other side, but I wanna use something I can put in my calculator, and the only ones I have in my calculator are log base 10 and ln. So let's plug this into our calculator. So we're gonna have negative, now remember we use the negative button, not the minus button. Okay, so you can't see this. Let me see if I can extend. Um, so we use this negative button down here, um, not the subtraction button, it'll give you an error. Negative log three, and I'm just gonna push enter so that I make sure that I do keep my order of operations okay. And I'm gonna divide that by log three, and close parentheses, minus log five, close parentheses, close the second set of parentheses, enter, and I'm gonna get 2.15 blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's my answer, 2.150, okay? And then we can go back and we can actually check this out. Okay, so three to the X plus one equals five to the X. So let's see, what is five to this number? It's 31.866, some random number, okay? Now we're gonna do three to the, and we're gonna add one to this number that we had, one plus, and then we're gonna come back up and grab this number that we had. Oh, look, they come out to the same number. So that's how we know we got the right number. So remember, your answer is not this 31. That's what it comes out to when I plug X in. I'm looking for what is X. What was X? X was this number, and we do it to three decimal places, 2.151 or zero. I don't care if you round or not. Um, but, you know, uh, ACT and that kind of stuff, more often you're going to see rounding than not um, until you get into calculus. That's when we kind of stop rounding. So 2.151.